Hello, everyone! Here's our producer, Selvi! Ahem! We'll be holding the concert as planned! The performance isn't just for us, though! It's also for Squall, you know, to get your. <laughs> Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome back to Fisherman's Horizon, the Garden Festival Edition! Uh... <laughs> Fun indeed. Who is going to perform? We are. Yeah, right. No, seriously. Let's just give it a try. We have everything ready and all we need is four people. Indeed. No, we're not leaving you out. You have an extra special job, Renoa. Something only you can do. First, I want to give you guys something. Okay, you know I took over this event after tra I transferred fr to Blam, right? I have the composition that the last producer recommended to me. But everything got messed up! There's supposed to be only four scores, and we got eight! What does it mean? Uh, yeah. Uh, indeed. Uh, yep. Irvine will do it! <laughs> so, you will notice that there are three different uh, guitars on here. Naturally, my temptation is to just pick all of the guitars and take what we get. Uh, however, <laughs> I, for the... Here's what happens with that, um... Normally that would be what I would do, but in this case I'm actually gonna just... I'm gonna... I have a particular scene in mind that I want to build. So, I cannot hear anything. Oh, there we go. So, like, I have written down, uh, w which, what the two sets are and which instruments are in each of the sets. Uh, I am going for the slow dance set. The other set is an Irish jig. I suggest you look that one up yourself, because it doesn't sound too bad. Or at least it's an Irish jig according to the, my notes. Uh, which really is to say... That's what it was called in the th in from the yeah. Anyway, I want the slow dance. Uh, it doesn't really matter if you you could put anything here. It doesn't matter if you have a matching song or not. Gonna be a blast! Okay, save point. Let's use it. Out we go. Here he comes! Hey, it's Renoa in her tiny white dress. Squall's going, ah, clearly they're up to something. Maybe I should just go back to my bedroom. No, Renault will just drag me back out. I guess I may as well just deal with it now. Ah, uh, Squall's in her monologue. So what's up? You look so down. Come on, Squall, how old are you? You're still a teenager. Why don't you act like one for a change? I don't know, I'd say he sort of is acting like a teenager. Uh, well, she's gonna drag me anyway, so... Oh, cool. We've set up on the at the mayor's house. 
it seems. Irvine. Dude. It's by the stage. You can't miss it. I left an old magazine there. Oh, a magazine, you say? Suddenly, you have my interest. Damn it, Irvine! <sighs> What's up? <laughs> and Renault's just laughing. <laughs> I'm sort of with Renault on, on that one. You know, making her run in that dress doesn't really seem very appropriate. I've got to say. I mean, that thing is not made for running. <laughs> yeah, that, that doesn't sound so bad. Nice light show, too. Um, no? Oh, yeah, no, that was it. There's only two views, it seems. Well, uh... Magazine! I want to read it! <laughs> of course it is. Of course it is. Maybe I don't want to read it then. Uh... Yeah, didn't you? What is it? Um, well, it's about your promotion. Things are gonna get real tough for you, eh? I don't want to talk about it. Squall, so, I'm sure there are a lot of things that you'll have to deal with from now on. We were talking about that, and saying how you'll probably try to handle everything on your own. Yeah, it probably will. I know... They know you too well. I do too, although I haven't been around you that long. You know, when you start thinking, you tend to go like this. <laughs> that was an impressive roll. No, don't go. But really, we were saying that, well, you can't handle everything on your own. <laughs> Not into the water, but onto the solar panels. That's it, just let everything out. Anything? We want you to talk to us a little more, that's all. You know, if there's anything we can do, or anything you want to tell us? Don't hesitate to let us know. I know it's not easy, but I wish you would trust us more and rely on us a little bit more, too. Uh... You are, actually, that untrusting squall. Although, I think it's, it's like your own head issues at work there. I can sympathize. <sighs> It feels great to have friends who believe in you. And adults you can rely on. That's why it's so dangerous. Especially if you become used to it. Wow. Just really squall. And it's inevitable. It's so hard to recover from something like that. I, n I never, ever want to deal with that again. I can't! Even if it means being alone. Deal with it again? Hmm. Interesting. Sorry about that. So, are we finished here? What? No, I didn't mean you. I was talking about the music. 
I love this piece, but it's been terrible the last few minutes. Jeez, what's wrong with them? Okay, so here's the thing. They will complain about the music no matter what you pick out. But they'll complain differently. They'll complain in different ways depending on what you pick out. Uh... <laughs> oh well, I'll see you later, right? Wait, you're not getting off that easy. You still have me an answer. Fine. I'll ask for help when I really need it. I'll try to trust everyone more often. Okay? What is your problem? Why do you have to talk like that? Are you mad or something? Tell me you are, because this really can't be you. I'm sorry. You're not sorry, you just want to get the hell out of here, that's all. <laughs> ah, Renault is calling him out. She's angry. You better go apologize while, like, sincerely. Back to little Squall again. I guess he lost his sister. And I mean, he's an orphan, so obviously he lost his parents. But I'm doing my best. I'll be okay without you, sis. I'll be able to take care of myself. What indeed? Well... I guess we better head up there. Oh, hey, I got paid again. Okay, um, hmm. Let's maybe, yeah, let's uh, head to the classroom before we head all the way up if we can. That way I can check the new diary entries. Because there's got to be one or two, right? It didn't really give me a- actually, there certainly are. It didn't give me a chance to even check the diary since Sid told me to, so... There's certainly at least one. Possibly two. It would be nice if there was somewhere else that I could go to check this, though. Like... This would be a good thing to put it... Like, some of the later Final Fantasy games have, like, a an encyclopedia function, right? That would, I guess the tutorial is sort of like that, but not really. It would be nice if they had some, if this was a menu feature, is what I'm saying. Maybe we should loosen up a bit. Really, Irvine, just... Look, I regret talking to you. <laughs> or Squall does, at least. <laughs> have my friends write stuff directly in here. I thought to have our leader Squall go first, but then I realized he'd never do that, so here's the order. Uh, sure. Yo, stop, it's Zell! The hell do I write? Yeah, I know. I said I'd write something, but I have nothing to write. Oh wait, I love hot dogs. You know, the ones they always have sold out? Anyway, that's it for me! Man's Sir Laguna's page. It was fate. I can't quite explain this page de dedicated to Laguna. No, actually, I call him Sir Laguna. He's such a hunk. At least that's what I think. It seems Sir Laguna was writing articles in Timber Midex while traveling. I'll, po I'll be posting some of Sir Laguna's articles here. Yes, actually I do. Sir Laguna writes about the time he was the editor of Timber Maniacs. He went to the editor, rather. 
He wrote an article entitled, Alcohol Will Change You, but it got rejected. I think Laguna is a lightweight. <laughs> Do you understand this picture? Sir Laguna even wrote S Star Secret. But actually, I know what it is! This is where Sir Laguna went scouting. Was it okay for this to be published? I guess he really needed the money! Hey, according to this article, this is Esthar. I'm very happy Sir Laguna made it there, but is this real? The city is so cool! But here now, there's nothing on the continent where Esthar is. According to Sir Laguna, he ended up here when he got lost on the continent. I hope he was alright, but what breathtaking scenery. I want to go too. You know all about this place, it's the hotel in Balm. Sir Laguna went to Balm too. Looks like he wanted, looks like he likes hotels. This article says he really wanted to stay at the hotel, but he ran out of money. He wasn't able to try the famous Balam fish. Let me know when you find Timber Maniacs. Okay, so every time we pick up a Timber Maniac, we add another page in here. That's what that's been for. Also, it's been for something else as well. Um, some of the Laguna fa flashbacks will change in small ways depending on whether you've picked up Timber Maniacs. Uh, unfortunately, the best example I know of involves... Uh, actually, no. Wait. Yeah, unfortunately, the best example I know of off the top of my head hasn't happened yet, so I cannot actually explain it without spoiling things. Uh, oh wait, no, I thought of something. The scene of Juliet, way back, like, in the very first flashback, or maybe the second one. That scene is longer because we picked up Tim, because we read some Timber Maniacs before doing that scene. The concert was fun! We held the concert! Woohoo! Actually, we were the ones performing, so we were really into it. But I wonder how it sounded. What did everyone think? I wonder. Ah, forget it. Everyone else should start playing too! It's a lot more fun to perform. I haven't given up on the Garden Festival, though. Okay, wait. Wait. Prepare for the concert. Garden Festival seems to be out, but the chances of a concert are pretty high, all thanks to everyone in FH. I'm really looking forward to it. Skull is appointed as the leader! I didn't know he was already famous within the Garden. Oh, I get it, that's why. Yeah, Skull can do it! We should support him! People think Squall seems a bit stoic, a bit scary at times, but I don't think he's tr that's true at all. He's always thinking about himself, thinking to himself, rather. But he just doesn't like to say it. From what I see, I think he hates explaining stuff. I guess he's just not used to it. Plus, I don't think he likes to meddle in other people's business. <laughs> oh. Come back to my first sh shaking mission, and what do I find? The Garden of Chaos! First of all, let me tell you about my first mission. I'm doing fine. My first mission was in Timber. I can't tell you the details about it, but it was a failure. I keep telling myself the enemy was stronger than us. We should have won! Well, an accident happened during our mission. The sorceress appeared! The sorceress! She is named Adia. Anyway, Cypher appeared out of nowhere, then Adia took him off to who knows where! We tried to make it back, but the trains were down. We ended up going to Galbadia. Hmm. Well, we reached a new order at Galbadia, but I don't think I can write about that. Based on the outcome, well, we failed to gain. The enemy's way too strong! Hmm... The sorceress behind the sorcerer's war, Sorceress Adele. We learn in history class that Sorceress Adele disappeared and the war just kinda ended, right? A sorceress inherits the power from another sorceress. So I think Adia is the one that received Adele's power. Just when Adia and the president of Galvadia joined forces, she wiped out the president! Which means she now controls Galvadia. This is exactly like the Sorcerer's War with Esthar, only, you know, backwards. Because in that, the Esthars had the Sorceress, where Galvadia was fighting them and that, yeah. 
We failed our mission again, and we even failed to retreat! As a result, we ended up prisoners. Our leader was tortured, and we were locked up, but we managed to escape. When you're locked up, the only thing you can think about is escaping, right? I hope we did the right thing. Or was that against orders? Oh well. After we escaped, I heard some terrible news! The deal was going to get rid of the seeds by launching a missile. It's obvious that Adia despises Seed, and wants to get rid of the garden, which trains them. After I heard about the missiles, I just couldn't stand still! <laughs> yep. Wow, this is long. It's fun information, but my voice is honestly getting sore. <laughs> hmm. After we messed up the computer, we tried to escape, but no, no, we couldn't leave! Never my whole life did I think so seriously I was going to die. But we were very lucky. We were able to get inside the robot we were fighting. Its armor was what actually saved us from the explosion. That's the only time I was thankful for Galpatia's weaponry. So anyway, we were inside the robot, and we made our way over here. Sort of. We were inside, but we had no idea how to control it. Worse yet, we were picked up by the Galpatian army and brought over to FH. We were pressing all these buttons trying to get out, when we realized we were fighting Squall and the others. Ah, oh, that's terrific. <laughs> yeah, we should probably check in on that. Uh, I've already read this part. Yeah, I've already read this. Can I, like, quit at- no, I can't. Uh, I know. I've. Re it's really stupid that it makes you go through this. Like, it should just give you a list of diary entries, you know? Uh, no, I don't. No. No! I don't need to do this again. Uh, no, I'm not done in here either, though. Because. Excuse me. Previous entries. Irvine! Sophie asked me if I could write something. How can I refuse? Well, I'm here from Galvia Garden due to personal reasons. I think I fit in quite well. What do you all well, think? With so many cuties here, I look forward to getting up in the mornings. Okay, now we're done that, and on that note, I think I'm going to stop off here, uh, because I need to give my throat a freaking break. Uh, <laughs> that, that's the long and short of that one. So, uh, well, I should stop somewhere better than this, though. Hmm. Okay, fine, we'll go talk to the headmaster. This episode will be a little bit long. And then we'll stop and I'll take a and I'll take my break. Or maybe we'll just stop for the day. I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'll definitely be stopping for at least a few hours though. <laughs> I do there's a little bit I wanna more that I wanna want to record today, but if I don't, I feel like I've done enough that I will be happy with it. Please don't do that. Hmm. I'll take care of all the supplies needed in the garden. Well, that is your specialty. Uh, okay, Quistus. I suppose that's probably what you're good at as well, maybe. Although you're not an instructor anymore. Hmm. Anyway! Uh, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Hey! By the way, you know the FH technicians were fixing the garden, right? They just finished. Meaning, we're ready to move! Oh yeah, I'll be piloting the garden. They taught me everything about piloting this thing. Let me know when you, where you want to go, and when. Uh, sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Also, it's easy to reach, so you know. 
that's nice. Yep, let's go! May I have your attention, please? This is the bridge. The garden will be leaving shortly. Please prepare for our departure. I will now hand over the mic to our leader, Squall. A speech? Forget it. <laughs> and Renoa just breaks out laughing. Okay, so we want Squall, or rather, we want Zella again, because there's stuff we can do in battle that we need Zell to do. Uh, and we are going to bring Renoa because... Yeah. Renoa is on the A-team. Okay, so if I do this... Okay, that's fine. I want to properly junction Renoa again. There we go, and also that should be... At 44, I almost get more of a full life. Almost. Um... This should be... Dispel? Double. This should be Dispel. Vitality outweigh... Oh, you know what? What about Strength? Oh, well, would you look at that? Um, I can throw Life down here. And I can also throw- wait. Ooh. How does that compare to Shell? Uh, Shell is slightly better. Okay. And, uh... Let me just check something. Okay, so with what is coming up, I can actually put the GF on here. Uh, the reason being... I'm also going to do this, because this next area has exclusively, um, there's nothing but I've added soldiers in the next area we're going to, meaning that I won't be able to card them anyway, so I may as well just turn off random encounters. <laughs> Plus, I still want to show off, uh, Leviathan. And, uh, worth mentioning, also... You do not get into fights when you're driving around this thing. Uh, there we go. There's the forward butt futon. Wait a second. There looks like there's a big thing in front of... Oh, well, that appears to be Galbadian Garden, which I guess that one is also mobile now. So, you know, that's interesting. Uh, clearly they are here. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna stop off here, uh, in more ways than one. Join me next time when- wait, what was over here again? Sorry, sorry, but I've, I seem to have been dis become distracted. It's Asuna. I don't really care. Okay, on that note- wait, didn't I also draw some stop with Squall? No, Regen. Okay. Uh, I digress. We're gonna stop up here. Join me next time when we, you know, go into Blam and figure out, hopefully prevent those guys from burning it to the ground. Until then, this has been Chaos Blue with Final Fantasy VIII, and have a great day. Bye!